welcome back to the Harbor Kids Variety Hour. We've got a great show for you. Producer Doug told me we've even got a new segment. Is that right, Doug? Yep. Penny and I worked all last night on it. I even wrote a theme song for it. You worked all night? Yeah, we hadn't started on it yet. Don't you think it would have been better to get started on it earlier in the week so you wouldn't have to cram at the last minute and stress yourself out? Oh, absolutely. Alrighty then. Well, let's get started with Sing Alongs with Bruce and Friends. Okay, friends, you can come on out. Okay, the first song we're going to sing is My God is So Big. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. All right, and next we're going to sing, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And lastly, we'll sing In Right, Out Right, Upright, Down Right. I'm in right, out right, upright, down right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out right, upright, down right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right, out right, upright, down right, happy all the time. Random thoughts! Random thoughts! And this is the news. Our first story. This morning, I asked our reporter Dizzy to head out to the public and ask them what they thought about the news. Dizzy, are you there? Hello? Reggie, I'm right where you told me to be. Ready to ask people what they think of the news. Hello, sir? Can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, why not? And, uh, what's your name? Red, Red, uh, Roger, it's Roger. Roger, what is your opinion on the news? Well, I think the news is just the greatest thing ever. Have you ever watched that show, The News with Reggie? My, that Reggie is a handsome fella and super duper smart, too. Oh, okay. How often do you watch the news? Do I think people should watch the news with Reggie, you ask? I think everyone should watch it. It's the greatest show on television. Okay. Thank you for the interview, sir. Back to you, Reggie. Uh, Reggie, where are you? Oh, uh, sorry, Dizzy. I was, um, in the bathroom. Thank you for the... Uh, thank you for the interview. He seemed like a really cool dude. In other news, 
a semi-pro soccer player in Toledo, has gone on strike after his team nutritionist introduced a controversial menu item. Tito Benito, a midfielder for the Mosquitoes soccer team, says he went on strike because the team was served tortilla wraps with several cheesy brand of chips in them. It's just not healthy, said Benito. I try to keep to a high-protein, low-carb diet, and this new meal won't cut it. Stay tuned for more on this story of a Keto Toledo Mosquito Tito Benito who vetoed a cheesy Frito Dorito Burrito. Thank you, I'm Reggie, and this has been the news. Hey Bruce, what's today's Bible word of the day? Today's word is pride. Ah, yes, a group of lions. No, no, not that kind of pride. I'm talking about the sin of pride. Pride means thinking and acting like we know better than God. Okay, so let's act this out, okay? Ooh, ooh, pick me! I want to be proud! I'm the best at it! Okay, you can pretend to be proud. Come here, I want you to say this. Got it! All right, go ahead. I can butter the everyday house. No, that's not it. Come here. Oh, sorry, I misheard you the first time. Yeah, you did. All right, try again. My ham better be on that bookshelf. You're supposed to say, I am better than everyone else. Oh, oh, so pride is like a chicken chicken live. Or the telephone game where you keep mishearing the other person. No, it's All not right, like back it. to the show. After the flood, Noah's family grew, and the earth was full of people again. These people moved from one place to another. This moving was part of God's plan to fill the whole earth with people. Many of the people moved between two rivers. There they built houses for themselves. They wanted to build a great city which would rule over all the people around them. The people said to one another, Let us build a great tower that will reach up to the sky so that we can be kept together and not scattered abroad on the earth. They began to build a great tower out of bricks. But God did not wish all the people on the earth to live close together, as they had lived before the great flood. God knew that if they all kept together, those that were wicked would lead those that were good away from God. Then the world would become evil again, as it had been before the flood. While they were building this great city and tower to rule the world, God came down to see the people. At the time, the people spoke only one language. God saw how the people were one and spoke one language. God wanted the people to fill the earth, so he caused their speech to change. The people all spoke different languages now. They couldn't understand each other. Now the people could not come together to build the big tower, and they stopped building the city. They named this place Babel, which means confusion, because God caused the people to be confused. God scattered the people all over the earth, which is why now there are people living all over the world speaking different languages. Even though God scattered the people, He still loved them, just as He loves all the people of the world today. That's going to wrap up today's episode of the Harbor Kids Variety Hour. Any closing remarks, Hans? Oh, just that I hope everybody has a fire week. Get it? Fire! What do you mean, fire week? That doesn't sound like a good thing. Fire, it's like a slang that means good. Oh, didn't know that. Okay, Boomer. Well, we hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next time.